So in the last video, we learned about the request object inside the call. In this video, we will learn about uh, the URL parameters. So what URL parameters are? Basically, if you open uh, Postman, so sometimes you might have seen that in some URLs, you have a slash and then notes and then a notes ID. Right. And up until this point, this URL is static, but this ID keeps on changing depends on what kind of node you are asking for. Right. You can ask for first node, second node, third node, and it basically gives you the next node or usually like the page number. If there is paging in inside uh, uh, a web page, if you are going through a bunch of different uh, catalogs so there is paging so this page number keeps on changing right so we will create a completely new endpoint here get and we will say iphones and then page So we have created a new endpoint and we will respond with a text you are on page number and we will add the page number later on but let's first test this endpoint so we run the server we go to postman and we have iPhones and if we do, do just iPhones and try to make a request it will say 404 not found because it needs some page number as well right but how to read this page number on the server side so this call object gives us another uh, property which is called parameters through which we can read the URL parameter as we were reading the headers and query parameters in the previous video. So all you have to do is do square brackets and then add the same uh, string as under these curly braces. So you can do page and we will call it page number and then we can send it back to the user. So we will rerun the server here. And now we will send two. So you see that it says you are on page number two. You, if we send one, it will say you are on page number one. We can enter a string as well here. So this doesn't stop us from the type of value that we are sending. So for that in the server side, we have to do some special checks and do the validations which which is beyond the scope of this video but when we will create a full-fledged application we will do all that stuff there so this was about url parameters in the next video we will be making a post request and i will teach you how to send a body in a post request and read that body on the server thank you very much i hope you enjoy this video